still not wearing sunscreen, look at this photo. This is how you look when you are not applied sunscreen. The most serious result for foregoing sunscreen is skin cancer, but that's not the only reason to apply it. According to Cleveland Clinic, sunburns damage the skin cells and, and blood vessels, and it can make skin to look older, more wrinkled, and dry. Sunscreen is designed to protect your skin from the sun's damaging rays. Who should use sunscreen? The short answer is everyone, men, women, and children over 6 months of age should use sunscreen every day. So today, I will show you how important sunscreen is. Here are the some main problems when you are not applying sunscreen on your face or on your body. First, it can lead to skin cancer. Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 71,943 people were diagnosed with melanomas of the skin in 2013 and 9,394 of these cases were fatal. By applying sunscreen each day, you can cut your risk of contracting skin cancer in half. So, the next point is, it can cause premature aging. Free radical and sun damage accounts for 90% of early signs of aging. Seriously, is that high? At 2012 dermatology study, estimates UV radiation alone contributes up to 80% of skin aging and is the most important environmental factor in skin aging and skin cancer. The last is what happens if you're not using sunscreen, it can cause freckles on your face or your body. According to Medline Plus Medical, going out in the sun makes your skin cells start producing extra melanin intended to shield your skin from sun damage. If you have the necessary genetic predisposition, exposure to the sun will bring freckles on your skin. Here are some tips and plans that I can I give you before you choose your sunscreen. First is, please use SPF above 30 when choosing for sunscreen. The American Academy of Dermatology always recommended at least an SPF of 30 because it is clinically proven to be enough protection to reduce or minimize the adverse effects of sunlight and it can give you low risk for skin cancer. An SPF 30 allows about 3% of UVB rays to hit your skin. An SPF of 50 allows about 2% of those rays through. That may seem like a small difference until you realize that the SPF 30 is allowing 50% more UV radiation onto your skin. Second is, it's better to use physical rather than chemical sunscreen. What made I say that because, look at this. Dr. Hartman from Dermatology state that chemical sunscreen absorb into the skin and then absorb UV rays, converts the rays into heat, then release them from the body. But physical sunscreen sits on top of the skin and reflects the sun rays. Not all chemical sunscreen is bad, it is safe, but if you are sensitive to any of the chemicals commonly found in chemical sunscreen, physical sunscreen might be the best option for you. So, let's take a look at the last point. Last, make sure you use the sunscreen that's suitable for your skin. The choosing type of sunscreen is very important as the thermology department, Mount Sinai Hospital identified that if your skin is allergic to certain sunscreen types as different sunscreen have different ingredients. So, if you have acne or oily skin, make sure that your sunscreen is labeled as non comedogenic which means that 
it has been shown not to block pore and if you have dry skin look for moisturizers with sunscreen or sunscreen that contain hydrating ingredients wearing sunscreen every day is a crucial part of your skincare routine and without it you are exposing the sensitive skin on your face to unnecessary damage from sun exposure let's imagine if you use this sunscreen it will help you to reduce the risk of skin cancer fortunately sunscreen is very effective in reducing the risk of skin cancer especially melanoma <coughs> this type of skin cancer is known to be extremely aggressive and can be life-threatening for many women particularly those in their 20s however you must apply sunscreen daily to see the cumulative protection over the days and months if you're not doing this and think sunscreen is not important you should think twice 90 percent of premature skin aging is caused by over exposure dr elizabeth hill from the skin cancer foundation says everyone get incidental exposures of sun that in some cases can cause sunburn and significant skin damage wearing sunscreen on a regular basis can help prevent this harmful uv rays penetrate clouds and get your skin if it's not protected this is the picture for those who do not apply sunscreen on their face look alike look older by it hitch but if you're not doing this you will build the next everyone should realize that sunscreen is very important for their life it can help you prevent from skin cancer premature aging and skin damage please and please take care of your skin as the weather today is getting hotter especially in malaysia it's not too late to change your lifestyle let's change together and go to the nearby shop and get your sunscreen and please go to this website it will get you to choose sunscreen based on your skin types before you buy